Hello and welcome back to Skyopolis 4. We are here in our base. We had, uh, last episode I was like, I'm going to make some points or something like that. And then I realized, uh, points do not be, they're not made, uh, <laughs> they're not made normally, uh, through the normal flux crafting. You have to use this assembly, uh, controller to make those. And so that, uh, kind of stopped me in my tracks right there because I, uh, you need a, a pressure chamber, and I couldn't figure out how to do that. Because uh, the book is not locked until I continue the rest of this. So, uh, what I was able to do is I did a few of these uh, extra challenges to get some coins. So I made the lunchbox and the golden lunchbox. And so you, the golden lunchbox is actually pretty cool. You can write uh, shift or sneak, I guess. I have mine bound to control, but... Uh, sneak right click and it opens it up and you can put the food in there so you can have multiple types of food and it's just going to eat the best available food so that's kind of cool but uh it's holds a lot of food and it lets me uh have one slot for all that so that's kind of nice i also made a drawer controller and a uh compacting drawer but i'm not going to use those since they they're kind of broken and uh what is this one? This is the drawer controller slave. So the drawer con controller slave is like an upload point that you can add to your network for drawers. And I had moved all my, uh, I had this, it's still kind of janky, but uh, this whole line of uh, chests and crates and stuff, I moved that into this wall of uh, these, uh, these drawers. Here we go. Just to kind of clean it up, I'm eventually going to just remove it completely. I think it's turned off at the moment. But uh, just trying to get all that out of that system into that system to kind of get ready for uh, refined storage when we get to that. And then, what's this? Did I change anything here? No. Okay. And then, I did change this. So I had made the fractioning, fractioning still. Before I had made the uh, fluid encapsulator. Fluid encapsulator is required to get the uh, bucket of crude oil for this one right here. So that's a coin. That gives us a bucket of crude oil. I immediately put it into the fraction fractioning still that separates it. So I need to pick this one up to get that. So I can just pop that down. I think I lost like a millibucket or two of <laughs> of the oils that it makes, but yeah, that's uh, kind of where we were with that. And then I'll need to make more of that uh, oil sand to uh, do this, and this will get us a uh, towards work towards the Nether token, and uh, this is good fuel for the compression da domino and this will make refined fuel which i believe we can pump into this one or the crude oil goes directly into this one and that'll get us to the diesel generator which may, may or may not generate more power than uh what we have going on here so i'm getting 40 from the salapis thing and i'm getting uh i'm getting none from here Oh, man, it's all broken because of these pipes. Uh, which, which mod is that? The cyclic mod? Yeah, so I, I built these garden uh, garden cloches, and, yeah, they, they kind of like to prevent me having to, like, farm. And you, you put the stuff in there, and you get the stuff out, right? They're like uh, hopping bonsais in a way. Uh, but they don't take power from, uh, well, at least they wouldn't when I was trying it. They wouldn't take power from the uh, pipes thing. They only took it from the cyclic thing. Or something else did. I don't remember exactly. I was having issues. Maybe it was the point here. It wasn't taking power from uh, pipes. But uh, let me get a cyclic uh, wrench. Cyclic. What is the wrench called for this one?
There we go, the cable wrench. That's what it's called. And we're going to need to make a heavy uh, plate, and that should give it to us. There we go. So I hadn't noticed this, but the right here, the uh, pipes are uh, sucking the lava out of my lava machine. And I guess doing something with that. Now it's getting power correctly. Yeah, maybe I need uh, this one connected still. There we go. I think that should solve the issue. Or not. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I need more power anyway. Uh, so that's that. Uh, what else did we do? Not much else. Uh, I've been just trying to get resources organized a little bit more. Trying to make it easier. I did buy uh, from the little in-game shop some bees. I bought an ice bee and I'd had the coal bees. And I think I have another right bee and a what you call it bee. What is it? Uh, I think I bought the wrong one. I was trying for something else and I bought another quartz. <laughs> so there's that. And I bought the uh, assembly program for drill and laser for the uh, assembly tool. But uh, we're going to get to that here shortly. What I wanted to do now is get the initial bees set up for uh, for the uh, coal bees, just so I can get some coal going at a higher rate than uh, than I currently am. Uh, so I built two apiary uh, sized uh, pens, I guess, for bees. I don't plan on going higher than this for bees, but. Uh, if you look in the B book and go to building an apiary, it's a uh, seven by se six by seven or a five by five with a four hive building. So it's pretty standard. I think I built like 12 of these in uh, sky bees and it, you just put your bees in this thing. These are mob filters that prevent uh, anybody but players from going through. They're not valid blocks for a uh, apiary. And I don't, I don't think cobblestone is either, but I'm going to replace those. I'll replace those later. This is mostly just to get it, get it going so I can, uh, so I can get it, uh, just get some resources going. So we got enough stuff in here. We're going to make one of these. We have a tier two beehive. So first things first, we're just going to, uh, put beehive like right here. I think that's where I wanted to put it like that. So you need this little, uh, slit facing towards the thing so the bees can go in and out and then I have an item user so that's going to be able to click on the uh, the hive and kind of uh, collect the items just go ahead and put that right below here so I think I can get it So I think I can get that facing straight up. Hopefully, no. <laughs> that red dot has to be facing up. So let's move this. Just to get that positioned right. Where'd it go? Now let's break this glass too. There we go. And we'll pop that right. Th that's the wrong way. Oh, we broke that glass too. Glass, uh, glass breaks pretty easy. Oh god, come on, really? Why is it not uh, placing right? So let me try... There we go, got that. And we need a piece of glass to fix that hole. And we probably need more than one piece of glass, but that should be fine. All right, that looks correct. Let me go around here. All right, so what we'll have to do, I don't know if this requires power. Looks like it's gonna require power, so we'll have to uh, deal with that here in a second. But we can put uh, the shears in there, and then I think it'll be powered by, I didn't grab energy cables, all right. 
Uh, let's try these energy pipes. Let's see if these connect to uh, to the flux net. I took a my uh, I took the point off my uh, what you call it over there. Yeah. So these don't seem to connect to these ones unless I'm doing it wrong. Where's that wrench? So if I go right here, it doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the connection. I don't know why they don't connect, but it doesn't seem like those will, those will work with Fluxnet. So I need the uh, cyclic ones to do this, which I have six of them. So I'll go ahead and put that there. I'll put this point right in there. There we go, and then should be good to go like right here. That's the wrong one. Why is it not powering that? Here, let me go uh, turn this other stuff off real quick. The power is so limited that uh, I don't think a lot of this stuff is going to work here. Let's just take this point out of there. That should kill all of that from working. And then the, it's like 90, I think 90 RF that we're get generating should, uh, yeah, 63. All right, that's working now. All right, perfect. So that will now uh, use the shears on the beehive as uh, time is <laughs> permitting. Like it's, uh, I think, 30 seconds or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and put some bees in here. All right, let's, uh, let me see what these coal bees actually eat. So I noticed that the, all the, uh, all the mods have different, <laughs> what the coal, what the bees do, right? So there you right click on the bee and it looks like they just eat random flowers. So can I use like a poppy or something like that? I don't see Poppy. That's interesting. Wow, really? Yeah, it looks like it's got the normal flowers. I just didn't see it. So we need to get some of those flowers. Uh, let's see, flower. Uh, let's use. Let's use this lime one for now. And we'll just pop it in the middle. And we'll drop uh, two of these down. So it looks like they are pollinating with uh, that lime flower. And then they should go deposit their uh, honeycomb inside of the hive. In Skybees, I had about 200 bees. And it really lags out the world. <laughs> so... Um, I don't plan on scaling up that high in this one because I don't believe that is uh, the path of uh, generating a lot of these materials. What the path is for that, I'm not sure at this point in time. Um, I don't really see any other kind of forms of generation. Like the, I know some packs have lasers and stuff, so we'll have to see. This bee's trying to escape, so. Go ahead and let that be. And now we need to collect the items from there. I'm going to use an advanced item collector. Uh, just because it seems to be a decent way to do that. So we're going to need a barrel. I guess I didn't create one. Uh, go in there and do a barrel. And then I'm just going to pop a hole in the glass right there. Put a barrel. Uh, when we can upgrade this to an apiary. We can, son of a gun, we can, there we go, we can, uh, oh, I guess this may be not possible to place it on, uh, on the bottom, I mean the side of something. There we go. That should collect all the items, put them in the barrel, and then we can take the items out of the barrel and process them in this uh, centrifuge right here. Let's make a, uh, so brick. 
So the centrifuge is a pretty simple craftable item. Uh, here, let's look at it real quick. I made like <laughs> like 30 of them in uh, Skybees, but uh, it's, yeah, it's just stone plus iron uh, ing ing ingots and a bucket and piston. Really simple. It's a really simple machine. It requires power, so that's kind of why we got the point over here. And it requires uh, it, uh, what you call it? It has honey that you have to get out of it also, so. In Sky Bees, it was bugged so that the pipes wouldn't kind of stick to it, so I'm hoping uh, that's not a thing in this one. But that should work as expected. Uh, we need items to come in. Just take this item pipe, pipe it right there, and then there. anything going in should go to there. And we're going to need more cyclic uh, energy cables. Actually, I wonder if I can get power off this to that thing. And I'm going to make some of the other ones real quick. Energy. Where are they at? There they are. Of course, I don't have uh, stone bricks. <laughs> there we go. I can make a bunch of those. And then I can make a bunch of these. These recipes are just all weird. There we go. Eight should be enough. All right, let's uh, try. Let's try this one first. I know it doesn't connect, but I want to see if I'm just crazy. Yeah, it doesn't work. Might be something that's required to make those connect, but I'm not too concerned about it right now. So I'll just go like this, like so, and then that should be powering this slowly. Take those pipes out since that uh, energy <laughs> energy hopper or ender hopper is going to be doing that and then we can go back here and look at the back of our uh, our hive honey level is zero which is interesting did show the two bees or did they escape already in some way Yeah, it doesn't show me how many bees are inside there. I can hear the bees. I don't think there's any holes in this thing. Let me get a vanilla Minecraft flower, if I have one. It's like poppy. Or daisy, there we go. Dandelion. Let's just pop that down right there. All right, so we'll just let that uh, process for a little bit, and eventually uh, it'll produce a honeycomb. Honeycomb should get kicked out of there and sent over here. Uh, hopefully the honey gets piped out into this uh, storage tank, uh, and then I don't have to deal with uh, using tons and tons of the, <laughs> what you call it, uh, bottles for that so that's should be good there let me uh get a chest real quick drop all this in there all right so i needed these no these all this bee stuff for this over here let's put this in there um Let's look at the ice bee real quick. I might be able to throw them in there. I can fit, I think, six bees inside of that one hive. So it's just a matter of uh, doing that. So this one requires... I think it's just like any flower in the pack, in like the mod, right? I mean, these are all botanical ones, but... There, I saw Poppy, so this is just standard bee stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's put these in there. I need the ice for something. 
think it was making a mob capture tool. Uh, there we go. Let's put those in there. Let them uh, see what they're going to do. Might need more flowers in there. And all of this can go into my system. Let's go put this point back over here on the thermals. And it'll be good to go. Put that right back there. And all this can just go. All right. So where are we at? We wanted to make this assembly uh, machine. So let's go ahead and start crafting that. Uh, we might build it next time, but it's uh, it's quite a <laughs> quite a contraption. So we need a pressure tube. I had made uh, some compressed nuggets, which is just dropping an anvil on nuggets at this point. Uh, what am we missing? Yeah, glass does not uh, show up in the system for some reason. I don't know why. So we made that. We don't need a crafting table. Don't need the fluid encapsulator anymore. Don't need that, don't need that. All right, assembly controller requires these printed circuit boards and I'm, I haven't been able to figure out how to make those yet. Um, that all requires that too. What the hell was that? Oh. These rat guys are annoying. There we go. They're so annoying, they just show up and like, ruin stuff. Alright, so where do we get these printed circuit boards? We need transistors. It looks like we have to buy them from, uh... Buy them from the shop, really. Uh, because it shows this recipe and then you click on this and it says a villager will sell them to you or you can make them in the pressurized chamber so uh let me go get the book maybe the book unlocked and it show, it'll show us how to make that pressurized chamber now i try not to google it so all right pressurized chamber and we have another right b and a, another quartz b that i bought but we need wither roses for them i believe so it's Kind of, kind of crazy. All right, so pressure, pressure chamber. Here we go. It unlocked baking that tube, I guess. Overall, the multi multi block must be a hollow three by three, four by four, or five by five structure. The edges and corners must be pressure chamber walls, eh, or glass. The faces must be either walls, glass, or valves, or interfaces. At least one. Valve is required. Two interfaces are recommended. One should face in, one should face out. Okay. Not too difficult. We'll probably make the small one first. Pressure chamber inter interface is used to automate the insertion and extraction of items. Items must be popped piped in via hoppers or mod piping systems. You should have at least two interfaces, one with the I facing out input interface and one with the O facing out output interface. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. Cost 100 or 1000 milliliters of air per item transfer. That means transfer a full stack to the interface costs 64,000 milliliters for bars of a basic 4x4 four four chamber. Okay, so if it get, looks like stuck, it's just waiting for pressure. Alright, so reinforced bricks. Okay, so that's pressure chamber wall, pressure chamber glass, interface. Okay, so we can actually make this. I think, anyway. Pressure. I'm horrible at spelling. Where is this? There we go. Pressure chamber. What was I doing wrong? There it is. Alright. 
So we want the wall. We want the glass. We want a valve. That's a valve, right? And we want an interface. Okay, so I guess wall is the first thing. We need eight reinforced stone, which is or stone brick, which is just stone surrounded by it. that. So grab like two stacks of these, maybe. And then we'll take another piece. We'll get up. We need the reinforced stone bricks. So take four of those. Okay, let's just turn all of these into it because I think that's what they're all for. <laughs> I'll do that. And then uh, what does the glass take? Glasses, the bricks with glass. And this is, here, let's make the valves. Interface is two walls and a hopper. So we need, uh, we need more walls. So we need two valves, so that's that. And then, I don't really care if it's glass or not for this one, so. We just need more walls. Okay. Can I make more? All right. I'm assuming this thing's going to need power, so we're going to just bring it over here for now. This little spot. So this was a 3x3 three three with uh, one input, one output. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. These bricks look kind of cool with the shader, though. That's nice. And then the center is hollow. I'm sure I could do a uh, bigger one. Later on, once we figure this all out. Okay. So, this... That's wall. Uh, this is the interface, and this is the valve. So we need to put this interface here. That's input. We want this one to be output, so. Let's put it right. It's not going to place right, is it? And we want the wall because we <laughs> put ourselves in a hole here. There we go. So we had output, we got input, and then we got a valve. Is that really what it looks like? Here, let's put it right, right there so we can kind of see if there's any other spots on this block, right? Not really, so it's just uh, like that. I'm guessing I need to pipe into that. I've never, I've never heard of this mod before, so this is uh, totally new. All right, where does it go? There we got that, one valve, two interfaces. Is there like a hole there? Okay. Maybe I need a hole. Uh, let's put this on the back then. If we if we don't if we have to have a hole in it, I'd rather look at it and see what it's doing while it's doing its thing. There we go. didn't really turn to anything, did it? Am I supposed to like tap it or something like that? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I have everything here. We got uh, walls everywhere. We got hole. This is the three by three, right? Visualize that. Okay. Put that visualization right there. What is it? Do? What is that green stuff? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the input and the output, right? Got the input, the output. We got a hole in the center. How do I turn off that visualization? <laughs> All right, so if we click here, Okay, so it's telling me it's not a. Uh, it's not formed correctly. Oh, it does require a uh, another wall. Okay, so we got input, we got output. We can put items in there. So this is <laughs> this is an interesting machine. And I guess we need to put, uh, so we got these valves, right? These pressure tubes. We go like, I can click it. There we go. And I have an air compressor down in the, my storage area. I use for charging that air pad thing, so. Let's just take this one for now. They're like five coins. I don't. I don't know if I can uh, make them normally. All right, let's go back over there. This thing should work, right? I mean, can't imagine it's that complex. That is the correct foot facing, right? So we need a burnable item. So do we have coal? charcoal so we can make a few mini we don't want to put too much in. i had one of these blow up early on because so i put like uh, a stack in there and the pressure doesn't stop i guess warnings okay all right it looks like it's doing its thing let's uh, go back to the recipe we need a printed board, which is these translators. So we need three gold nuggets, plastic sheet. Oh God, plastic sheet. Plastic sheet is plastic brick in weak and roading road. Okay, so plastic brick. We have one of those. And I think our eroding fluid is right here. So let's, uh, blacklist this block so it does not uh does not pick it up there we go and it should pick up the uh plastic sheet which unlocks uh that and then we can get make a cylinder now which requires more of that plastic stuff uh we made the plastic uh pressure tube uh let's see here so that was gold. Good. And what else was it? Oh, slime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we hit a stopping point because I don't have any slime. Uh, what about these things? These require a bunch of that and a cannon barrel. Jeez. Okay. So I think we figured out what we need to do. Um, I need a bunch more materials. I did not realize there was all these little uh, sub commands and I don't have a high amount of uh, like this stuff. I think it was the bitimum, which goes in a furnace to make the brick, right? So we put the bitium in there. And that's going to create more bricks, which will create more plastic, but still not enough for all of these things, right? So we need, like, one of these is six, right? And that gives us two. But looks like we got to go. Yeah, it looks like here are the capacitors and stuff right there. So we made the pressure chamber. 
So we got a coin for that. And then it's going to tell us to make these things. So this is a... Uh, let's go ahead and make this one first. Two redstone torches, a plastic, and a gold. So... Let's try this, and then uh, I've, I have a feeling we'll have to <laughs> farm materials for a bit. Alright, so here's the input side. We're going to put two... How does this work? Okay. <laughs> Can't put the items in. Oh yeah, I, I think it probably has to be a hopper, right? I don't think you can manually put them in. That would be too easy, right? So we can go... Wait, does that say output? That's the output hole. That's the output hole. What? I'm going to assume that's input, because I had it input before. So, two of these. Uh, it's like three of these, right? Yeah, three gold. Alright, those should be going in. Warnings. Did I mess that up? Here, let's see. <laughs> I think I messed that up by clicking that. All right, I guess we're going to need a pipe over here. Uh, I'm going to item pipes. And we have like a chest we can put this in. Very interesting mod, to say the least. <laughs> All right, just do that, and then uh, like so, and then we need our wrench, and just set this to export. There, yeah, that's what the problem was. I clicked the wrong button. Clicking that will make the item spit out. So this now, this export, will only export what is crafted. So that should work. Uh, let's give it a few more of these. I, like if you get into the red, it, it'll explode, I believe. All right, we need more air pressure, so. We need it to like 1.5, I think is what it said. Just don't know how much I can put in here without it uh, causing issues. <laughs> All right, that's gonna go. So let me uh, let this uh, cook for a few. Oh, actually, I'm gonna just let it go while we're right here. I'm gonna look at the uh, shop real quick and see. Yeah, we could buy. <laughs> Could buy some of these things. I want to see if there's any uh, bee eggs that are for sale that are worth buying right now. Does not look like it. Um, they're 10 each for two, so it's quite expensive, but we don't have that many coins left at this point. Three coins on us. Let's uh, drop those off while we're waiting on the air pressure. I do have a fl some fluid tokens left over. But, uh, yeah, maybe this is a, actually a better <laughs> good spot to just wait, wait for it to, uh, to work. It looks like it's almost to 1.5, so we need to get a little bit more. Do that, get it closer to two, right? 
I mean, to me, that looks like 1.5 ish. I guess where that green line starts is in between the one and the two. So right there would be the exact percentage it needs. There we go. Warnings. It says insert valid items. There we go. We got three empty uh, PCBs. Okay. So that gave us this, which gave us a buck, which unlocks UV light. Uh, we're going to have to make these uh, these things right next. These ones next. Slime balls and redstone. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Make a bunch of plastic, a bunch of slime, and uh, probably whatever else we need, right? Uh, yeah, lots of slime, lots of plastic. Uh, and we should be good to go next episode. And we'll finish up uh, this pressure chamber stuff to get us to uh, here. Do we make this assembler? And then once we have the assembler, we can assemble uh, flux points and plugs. We can make the processors required for uh, refined storage and then we can go through all the uh, refined storage items which should not be terribly difficult honestly uh, once you would once you can make the processors right and making the processors is uh, actually trivial and uh, once you have the machine right uh, in, in Skybees you had to like do some silicon magic to get everything working with uh, inscribers from AE2 but this looks like you just make the raw processor which is you know the basic stuff plus uh smelting uh the quartz down to silicon and just all in one kind of combined so that's kind of nice so that'll make it that'll make getting discs and stuff a lot easier the hard part was we didn't I didn't have enough uh like you had to make circuits constantly to do it so this should be a lot better <laughs> and then we'll continue through this uh and we'll probably need more power at some point because i think we're pretty much at that point where power is uh gonna be the detriment yeah we are the network has no power the battery is completely drained so yeah so i'm gonna make more plastic more stuff and then next time we will uh continue with uh this mod here the uh pressurized uh engineering whatever it's called but uh thank you for watching and have a great day